Curious about which greenhouse coverings are best for light transmission? Hi, I'm Trevor from Greenhouse Emporium, and today we're testing 12 different materials to bring you the results and some tips on optimizing light for your plants. So watch till the end and learn when reducing light can actually be beneficial. Why does light transmission matter? As the lifeblood of plants, the right light ensures that they thrive. By choosing the best covering for your climate, you'll give your plants what they need. Plus, proper light transmission can cut down on energy costs, making your greenhouse more sustainable. Light changes with the season and time of day. So understanding this helps you design your greenhouse, make sure that it works year round. Lastly, materials vary in cost, lifespan, and insulation. Knowing how they transmit light helps you make the best decision for your needs. Oh, hey, did you know that the amount of light your plants receive can change up to 50% from summer to winter? Choosing the right covering material helps manage all of these seasonal changes effectively. So why this test? The whole glass versus polycarbonate, which one is better debate, is common, but real testing beats theory. So we're testing 12 different materials to see how they actually perform. Here's our setup. A controlled indoor environment. A box with a top cut out under a grow light for consistent reading. Let's start testing. So without a covering, we measured 2,880 to 2,910 lux. This will be our reference. Our four millimeter glass panel scored 2,580 lux, about an 89% transmission. This aligns with our research findings. Now, the next material, the polyfilm, is a single layer. That one let in the most throughout. However, doubling it reduced transmission by another 10%. To our pleasant surprise, the 8 millimeter polycarbonate from the Riga greenhouses outperformed the 4 millimeter regular polycarbonate. If you've seen our previous videos, we've mentioned the thicker polycarbonate usually sacrifices some light transmission. However, Riga's 8 millimeter and even their 16 millimeter triple wall showed minimal loss, only 6%, while significantly improving insulation from 1.6 to a 3.0. This is a compelling advantage. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, did you know that polycarbonate can block harmful UV rays while still allowing beneficial light to pass through, making it a great option for greenhouses? Now, in intense environments like deserts, you might want to reduce light transmission significantly. Our test showed that the eight millimeter tinted polycarbonate from Mons Mojave or the Mohit greenhouses provides 40% light transmission, offering necessary protection for your plants. Now, surprisingly, light diffusion panels performed lower than expected. We assumed that they would show the highest level of light transmission. To understand why, we consulted David from Riverstone Industries. He explained that real world light comes from various angles and bounces within the greenhouse, making light transmission panels work in unison. We'll delve deeper into this in other videos, so make sure to subscribe for more details. Before we wrap up this video, we want to bring up some important tips and caveats. One additional thing we tested was the transmission of light through clean versus dirty panels. Sure enough, there was a significant drop. So make sure to clean your panels in the fall and early spring to get the maximum light for your plants. Now remember, this test was not scientific, but gave us some very valuable insights. If you're curious about all the test results and more details about light transmission, check out our in-depth article. We hope you learned as much as we did. Do you still have questions? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.